yeah, folks. Old single dad going to town. Look, open up the ref. You know how it is. You open up the ref and you work with what you got. I said, damn, I got taters in there. I got a little bit of butter. Shit, that's the makings of mashed potatoes right there. So I'm gonna boil these bad boys. I got it on high till it starts going. And then we'll just kick it over to low, cap it, and just let the thing simmer. I ain't in no hurry, but old single dad making mashed potatoes. Life is good. Oh yeah. I want to welcome y'all to my cooking show today. Today I'm making mashed potatoes with what I've got on hand. Luckily I have some potatoes. I think I got one onion, maybe a piece of garlic. I got a little bit of butter. I got some olive mayonnaise. No mayonnaise with olive flavor because I ain't got no olive oil. Mmm, it's gonna be magnifique. I got no cheese. Or, the, or it'd be better. If I had some cheese to go in there, oh my goodness. So I think I'm gonna make me up a batch of good mashed taters and maybe some noodles. I could mix a little tuna or a little corned beef up in there. It could be tuna mashed potatoes. Or I got sardines and I got luncheon meat. I'm spicing up these taters, my friends. Thanks for joining me on this little quick cooking show. Old single dad in bachelor mode. I guess that's the best way to describe it. Old single dad is in bachelor mode right now. Exercising my old bachelor survival skills. And you can't make us run. His own shotgun. Mm -hmm. Alright, start doing a little sizzle sizzle. Put a little salt in there. Got a little, little salty. Extra salty. Oh yeah, maybe one more pinch for good measure. Mmm. And you know what? Even though, even though I haven't cut them or peeled them, let's just put a little spice in there too. Why not? How about a little pepper? A little chili? And a little cayenne pepper. A little cayenne. And then we'll just go ahead and get the uh, red crushed pepper going too. This could turn into a potato soup. You never know with me. Plan never survives first contact, my friends. And I'm here by myself, so ain't nobody eating these taters but me. I, I get two, three meals out of these taters. But as you can see, I brought it to a little boil, and I gotta go in there and work on some videos, so I'll just cut this thing down low and cap it. And folks, right there is the Lodge 3.2 quart cast iron combo cooker folks that piece of gear right there is made in america by the good folks down in south pittsburgh tennessee my friends y'all seen it this thing has been a champion for years continues to serve me on a daily basis i would never give that up you can have my 3.2 quart cast iron combo cooker when you pry it from my cold dead hands little cooking station here but she don't need the salt or the lime anymore yeah got an onion here got blessed with, with an onion uh, it's kind of on its last leg but you know what if I cook it today it's all right You chop this onion up right here before it goes bad. Somehow or another put it into the mix. That's a Gerber strong arm right there. Well, it's a fake one, but you got a real one. Great knife. I love my Gerber strong arm. 
Hey, one of y'all offered to send me one. I got to get back into the email. And I certainly appreciate the offer. I just haven't had time to reply to you, my friend. Somebody said y'all got an extra very strong arm. Yeah, we need it. Now, this onion's a little mushy. <laughs> it's a little mushy. But you know what? It's just me. I don't worry about it. When I cook for myself, a little mushy, I'll deal with it. I can eat it. I made it a lot worse. And a lot worse things. All right, so I got a little onions right there. Oh, you want to see? $50,000 cooking school to teach you how to do that. Damn, I hate peeling uh, garlic. I can't stand peeling garlic. That's why I buy peeled garlic here. But if I do my insist on buying the regular garlic, and then she's too lazy to peel it. I'm like, why don't you just buy the peeled garlic? It's expensive, boy. I said, well, you know, <coughs> it's too much work to peel the garlic. It ends up going bad. That's the true waste of money. All right, so chop up a little garlic here. Slice, slice, slice. Oh, no skin on it. Got extra skin on the garlic. Come on off of there, baby. There you go. You get to your mother. Thousand dollars to learn how to do that. You want to say it again? Fifty grand. Is that actually a class in cooking school? Okay, y'all watch me. Okay, students, now you try it. Get a, get a fucking A plus if you don't drop an onion in the floor. Points taken off if you get food on the floor. I don't know. I'm not trying to take away from anybody who went to culinary school, but I will never. You will never convince me that you gotta pay 50 grand to learn how to fucking cook. Best cooks in the world are grandmas. You know how much they spend at culinary school? Zero. They just learn from their grandma. Go to culinary school, what do you learn? How to use tweezers and put fucking, uh, you know, food that's too small to eat on a plate so it's a beautiful presentation if you're in the art world. 50 grand. Learn how to use tweezers. Put a little piece of parsley on there in the right spot. Fucking ridiculous, you know? Ooh, that's hot already. Yeah, this just, just a little simmer. I'm, I'm just slow rolling. In no hurry, because I gotta get some work in there. Let that simmer. Time for another beer. Alright folks. Check this out. Got them taters out of there. Oh yeah. They're just beautiful. Why do you want to peel potatoes? All I do is just wash them off with my hands, scrub them off, and, and that's all I do with potatoes. I'm not peeling potatoes no more. The peels are delicious. It's a lot of nutrition. And so what I'm gonna do now is just go ahead and saute the onions and the garlic and a little bit of butter. And then I'm gonna throw the taters in there and just mix everything up. That's all I'm gonna do. It's just too simple. I'm gonna put a little bit of mayonnaise in there. Uh, just, just nothing too complicated. You know what I mean? Let's take that Gerber strong arm. Get a little chunk of butter. 
throw that butter up in there. Let's put my butter back in the ref because I'm going to need that. I'm going to mix that in. Lamps and sharp barbecue tools. Look at that, look at that, look at that. I hope y'all, I hope I got the right angle. I really don't have the right angle on the dangle. I'm gonna try to move it forward a little bit. I need a film crew, but there you go. Just uh, going in there, a little garlic, a little bit of onions. Just saute this around. Oh yeah. The smell coming off of this is wonderful. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna saute that up. I'm gonna throw them taters in there. I'm gonna mash them up. Boom, 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 just like that. Mmm. If you have smell of vision, you'll be able to enjoy this here too. Lord, just crisp it up. I don't like to cook it too quick. I got it on the second setting, which is 120 degrees Celsius. I don't think that's very accurate, but setting number two. I'll just go ahead and saute them guys up just a little bit. Keep stirring them, they'll burn. And folks, I threw a little water in there. You know, a lot of times, I mean, I, I use water as a... Uh, as many things, right? A lot of people don't don't use water like I do, but if you don't, if something looks like it's going to stick, the simple solution for me, I throw some water in there, and now the pot the pot don't stick, it don't burn, it don't stick, right? And you just let it cook, and it'll reduce down. It might not have the same exact texture as if you just added more oil and kept it frying. But see, I put a little bit of butter, and it was starting to stick. I just threw a little bit of water in there and now we're off to the races and we're almost to the consistency that I want this and it's not sticking it's not burning and see the water's already evaporated off of here and I'm just gonna go ahead and call that a racky done and I'm about to start mixing in my taters mmm that's delicious right there as is. And all we're going to do, oh, oh, Lord, I'll stab my toe. Look at this. Look how, look how uh, tender these taters are, right? Look at that. Look at that. Just boom right into the drink. Look at that. So I boil my taters 30 minutes and I boil them on low. These things are just coming apart. I got to get the barbecue tools on it. I boil them for 30 minutes on low. That's typically what I do. And that way, they're just nice and ready to go. They're not gummy. They're not chewy. They're not gummy. All that good stuff. Gerber strong arm. Look at that knife. That is a great just ergonomic knife. People ask me, you want the, the straight or the serrated? I go with the serrated, hold on. I go with the serrated edge because it's good at chopping carrots. I find that uh, the uh, serrated edge is just wonderful at chopping the carrots. What's the next step into these taters? Go, well, start mashing them up. They're mashed potatoes, right? There you go. They're so nice and tender. It's just easy to mash mash these guys. You just start mashing. Folks, mashed potatoes are not complicated. Step one, wash your potatoes. Uh, step two, throw the whole potatoes into a pot with some water. Step three, add the heat to it. That's it, you don't even, you don't need to get your water boiling first. Put the potatoes in there, put the heat to it, low heat, 30 minutes. They're, they're just beautiful, delicious. Look at that. Look at that right there. All right, now let's start adding some deliciousness. Okay, we're gonna hit it hard on the black pepper, obviously. 
Flip, 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 flip. Like Bob Ross. Okay, coming here with the uh, chili powder. More crushed red pepper. Again, I'm here by myself. Nobody's gonna eat this dish but me. I like spicy food. I'm gonna spice the hell out of this. Now, the only thing I wish I had is some olive oil because I would hit it real hard on the olive oil. Unfortunately, I don't have that. And then, once you mash them up, I do the, the twist method, just like that. Oh, Lord, one jumped out. Get you back in there. Get the butter and the mayo. Okay, I got the mayo with the olive oil. So I don't have any olive oil. I got the butter, right? Come on in here with some more butter. And the key to delicious mashed potatoes is what? Now look, don't try this shit at home. Don't do as I do. Knife safety. I'm gonna save that butter right there because I wanna make popcorn later. So, we're just gonna mash this up, mash up this butter. I got the butter mixed up in there. And then here we go. Tell you what, let me get a spoon. Find a spoon here. Oh yeah, Big Daddy Tom, spoon. Let's go with a big old dollop. Now look, this is a big pot of potatoes, so that's not gonna make a huge impact. A big dollop of Kraft mayo with olive oil. Get all that off of there, because I'm a redneck. I don't wanna waste any. There you go. I'll just take a taster on that. Oh yeah, delicious. I just mix up this mayonnaise in here. A little bit of mayo, especially since it's got the olive oil flavor. If it didn't have the olive oil flavor, I don't know if I would go with the mayo if I just had olive oil. Oh, look at that. Now, okay, take a little taster here. Let's mess with one ingredient. Again, I'm here by myself. No, the rest of my crew are here. I'm the lone, I'm the lone ranger right now. The lone canoe. And so the lone canoe loves spicy. There's a chili garlic sauce. Ooh. Man, stir that up. Sounds like sand in there. I don't know if you can see that. Look at this. This is what's going to totally change this dish. Just drizzle it. Just drizzle it and drop it. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Now you're about to see how this is going to change the whole presentation. It's going to look like my mashed potatoes actually look like devil egg filling, right? But it's not. Well, that's enough mashed potatoes to feed an army. There you go. There's your final product right there. Just by what I had on my hand. Not on my hand. By what I had on hand. Here at the Combat Outpost, I have made a delicious dish fit for a king. And that'll take me... God damn, that'd be three meals right there. Look at that. Bloop. Quarter blood technique.